So I'm in Birmingham, I'm just about to go to the track, I just got off the phone to the Birmingham University Athletics coach, he said I can use the track, but it's actually not about me this video, I'm here to watch the Birmingham Indoor Grand Prix, and Katie is racing in a 1k race, and they're going for a world record. Now I won't be going for any world records today at the Birmingham track, but at least you get to watch me do some reps at the track, and then see if some people can get some world records today at the Birmingham Indoor Grand Prix. So one of the cool things about Birmingham, not that I want to take all day getting the warm up done, but they have this canal system. And so every time you come to Birmingham, you just whip onto the canal. So this canal is going to take me all the way to the running track, I think. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. But well, let's go run on track. So what's kind of funny, <laughs> well I don't know if it's funny, it might not be funny at all. I didn't think I'd been to Birmingham for a while. I was thinking like 10 years. I competed in the Birmingham Indoor Grand Prix in 2013. So that's 10 years ago. The same race Katie's gonna compete in today, Birmingham Indoor Grand Prix, I was there 10 years ago. And that's the same year that I qualified for European indoors. Morning. Morning. But the reason I'm telling you that story is because I thought I hadn't been in Birmingham for honestly 10 years. And then I remembered <laughs> I was here like six months ago for the Commonwealth Games. <laughs> so I thought that was very funny. But seriously. Let's get this warm up done. Get the session done because I need to check out of the hotel. <sighs> so Luke did tell me that it might be locked. He also then explained where I go if it's locked, but I, I completely forgot. So I'm just looking for it is booked. I am allowed on the track. I think this is our spot, guys. I think we're climbing. All right, that wasn't so bad. Not ideal, but not too bad. Let's go train. There's no danger of me being the fastest person on the track. Such a really nice track. I remember being here doing strides before the comp games. It's, it's pretty fun, pretty cool place to train. I think someone's coming to lecture me. There's always people wanting to lecture me, that's just story of my life so I'd have to seek forgiveness probably for climbing a fence. Yeah of course you can yeah. Sorry? We don't know. Uh, the, so the 
Birmingham, uh, the Birmingham Indoor Grand Prix on today. Yeah. So my partner's racing in the K. All right. And so I just came down to do a session before. Um, yeah. Before Very it nice. starts. But so, can I get a picture of this guy? Yeah, this guy. This guy. Northern Ireland, right? Yeah, so Northern Ireland. Do you know what? I just like. Cheers. I was just wondering, like, uh, well, it was. I think it was yesterday. I was like going to the mailbox, and I was like, I feel like I've been here recently. And then I was like, nah, because I raced in this this race today, this Birmingham like a Grand Prix. I did it ten years ago. Oh, and as it goes, that was not somebody coming to lecture me for jumping over the fence. That was a runner who watches some of the YouTube stuff and he's going to compete in the 1500 meters tomorrow. And yeah, that was really cool. Nice little selfie at the track. And uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be such a pessimist to uh, think people are going to get mad at me. But all right, now I really got to go. If ever I was given one piece of advice, never ever pass up free water. Alright, so we're walking to the stadium and I did notice there on the map there's a cheeky little 4.8 coffee spot so 100% I'm gonna take a little visit there I'll rate the coffee and then we'll walk to the stadium so that I'm not late for the stadium but this is very exciting lots of cool races to watch today so get excited Nine out of ten. All right, so now we're going to walk to the stadium. I think I'm still going to be a little bit early, but that's okay. Better to be a little bit early than a little bit late. Um, honestly, even if I wasn't doing a YouTube video, I still like to compliment people. Go tell the person that made it. There's such a lesson in there. Like, I'm not trying to be a preacher. I'm not trying to be anything like that, but compliment people. It, it, it's really nice. That can make his day. Well, I thought it would make his day. He wanted to know why he didn't get a 10. <laughs> I love that. Um, but let's walk to the stadium, but don't forget to compliment people. It's free, it's easy. It makes people feel good. All right, guys, stop messing about. We need to go stadium. We're late. That's the stadium right there. Do you know, I really need to pee. And I've got to that age. I don't know if it's an age, but apparently now I go from, I don't need to pee 
do I think I'm gonna wet myself? And that didn't happen when I was 20, but we're here. So that's it over, Birmingham Indoor Grand Prix finished. We had close to a world record, a British record, a world record attempt, didn't quite get it. 
Neil, he got his British record, absolutely fantastic, 1500 meters, love it, well done, Flagstaff. Katie, I know will be disappointed, but I think it was better than British champs. Katie got sick just before the British champs. She was absolutely flying, ran an amazing mile race in the Milrose Games, 422 for the mile, I want to say, maybe 421. It was absolutely amazing. Traveled home, got sick, unfortunate. She had to go to her British champs. It's tough. You have to go make your team. If you don't come top two at the British champs, you don't go to European indoor champs. It's tough enough running. When you're sick, it's even worse. But when me and Katie spoke about, you know, do you come to Birmingham? Do you race again? Do you take a week easy? Katie knew that going out there and racing 1K hard today would help European champs in one week's time. There's a lesson in there. Sometimes you're racing, sometimes you're doing things, not to be amazing on that day, but to be better in one week's time. And so European indoors, when you're on the start line, will you be glad that one week ago, even though you knew you weren't feeling amazing, you knew it wasn't gonna be perfect, were you willing to go put yourself on that start line and do it because you know in one week's time you'll be delighted that you did. Katie doubts herself a little bit, we all doubt ourselves. Can we please give her some love in the comments below and tell this woman how fantastic she is? That'll make me a bit emotional so I won't speak about it anymore. But great video, I hope. Today's session was brilliant, amazing to be at that Birmingham track. It went well, I felt good. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, do all the little yarps with Skel. All right, so I've ran out of foam battery, but I'm gonna go back to the hotel. That's kind of like ground zero. That's where I'll meet Haas and Katie. I'd kind of ended the video, but there's just like so much I could say that would help people understand a little bit how running kind of like works and so everyone listening will understand that there'll be times in your running career if it hasn't happened yet it will you go through these periods where training goes really well you're racing really well or maybe you don't get that opportunity to race really well but there's like peaks and valleys you're very lucky if you go through an entire training buildup without an injury or an illness, just preventing the flow of things, the rhythm of things. I come to watch this race because I know that Katie, I'm not being like, I'm not coming down on her, but at the moment she's fragile. She's been sick. It's so hard to compete when you've been sick. I'm not here to watch her like, win and celebrate and have an amazing race. I'm here because it's likely that when you've not been well and you've been sick that it's not going to be brilliant. I'm here to be the voice of reason to remind her why she came here. She didn't come here to break records. She came here because by racing here in one week's time at the European Indoor Championships she'll be fucking delighted that she did this. That hard effort, that real hard effort. You can't replicate that in training. This also kickstarts that, I'm back, I'm better. Let's get going. Katie did 2.37 today. I watched her run 2.34 in Phoenix, Arizona, front run in a time trial. Today wasn't her best, but this is how running works. You have to forget the fact that when you were healthy two, three weeks ago and everything was awesome and you hadn't done a long haul flight, you felt better. You have to get over it. You have to move on and you have to deal and work with the situation you have right now. Then when things start going better, you can appreciate that things are going better. And so today, the purpose was a good hard effort to get herself in a better headspace that post illness, I've done a hard effort. She might not have felt amazing today. Kitty doubts herself, give her some love, she deserves it but it will help in a week's time. Okay, so what can you take away from this? What you can take away from this is that it's never gonna go perfect. If it doesn't go perfect, stop thinking back to how good it was before it was perfect. Stop thinking back to, oh, if only I could feel how I did that day. If only I could feel how I did that day. What you have to do is work with what you've got right now. Work with what you've got right now, put in place what it will take to get back to that day you felt amazing, and then be willing to deal with whatever you've got to do 
or however it's gonna feel to get back there. It's that simple. We cling a little bit to the past. We cling a little bit to, oh, but I felt way better this day. I felt way better that day. So what? Start working with what you've got right now, how you feel right now, and things will get better. If you cling to the past, things won't get better. Put in place what you need to put in place to get back to that day where you felt really good. I hope you gained something out of today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me some love, like, subscribe, do all those fancy things. Can we please tell Katie in the comments how absolutely amazing she is? I'm getting a really dead arm, so I've got to wrap it, but thanks so much. If you liked today's video, don't forget you can check out my running masterclass at joggingroom.com. 60 lectures, over 12 hours of tips, strength conditioning, nutrition, recovery, foam rolling routines, strength conditioning routines, sleep tips, psychology tips, race preparation tips, everything you could imagine from how to carb load, how to work with your glucose to get better at running, and all the tips that have helped me get to the level I've got to. I didn't get to run 209 without a lot of knowledge and I wanted to pass that knowledge on to other runners who wanted to get better. I wanted to help other runners that perhaps sat at home and wanted to be faster, wanted to be better at running, wanted to handle anxiety better in competition. I tried to get all that knowledge out of my head and into this masterclass. So if you want to go check it out, check it out. If you sign up, I hope you really enjoy it. I hope your running reaches really good new levels and take care. Happy running. Be kind to yourself. Stop beating yourself up so much. Running in life is really hard, but well done.